Jr. came up with, maybe you should start a new party, We the People. How about We the People concerning the body of Christ? How do you get from here in the pews or the seats of the scornful to the platform up here where you were taught precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little, till they all fall in the ditch, the, li the blind leading the blind. That's what happens. But how do you get from here to here? Well, you got to go to Bible school and you have to be trained by professors who doubt the Word of God. And they question it and then they challenge you to see if you have any faith. And if you do, they'll drown you in their traditions. But if you want to be a pastor, you have to go through Bible schools where you are taught how to lord over the people. They don't say it that way. They call it a close aloofness. You're just a little bit higher. That's why there's a platform. It's not for the advantage of seeing him, the person up there, as much as it is the psychology of the platform is these are the teachers of the law. They interpret the scriptures for you because you are too stupid to understand it for yourself. Well, they don't say that. They just say, you really can't obtain this hierarchy without going through our schools. They don't recognize if somebody popped up and said, Thus saith the Lord, come out from among them, touch not the unclean thing, and I will be your God, and you will be my people. Lest you be a partaker of their sins, and receive of their plagues. Someone pops up and says that, they will be ushered out very quickly. You are not to stand up unless they say, unless they say, let us all stand. You cannot sit unless they say, you may be seated. Does anybody understand the bondage of this? How many years does it take for one to get to there? You have to go through their process. You can be 30 years listening to these sermons from preachers from all over the world, but that does not qualify you, in their case, to come up here. Neither does it qualify you if you exercise your spiritual senses in the ability to war against a warfare, to use the weapons that are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. If you talk like that, they get really upset about that. They say, here's some weirdo guy, super, super spiritual nutcase. Let's just encourage him to leave. So, this, these are the people that say, judge not. And yet, he's judging them to be lower than himself. He's judging himself to be the highest point in the voice of God. And yet the scriptures say, we are justified We are justified by faith. When we are justified by faith, we have peace with God. And the Holy Ghost is shed abroad in our hearts. The Holy Spirit, my goodness, that's powerful. If you have received the Holy Spirit, the Apostle Paul says, when you all come together, you all have a psalm, you have a revelation, you have a tongue, you have an interpretation, you have all these things equipped inside of you because of the Holy Spirit. And when you come together, you form a habitation of a body, each member in particular, very important to share what they have in order for the body to grow up together into the full stature of Jesus Christ, not into the stature of the pastor behind the pulpit. Unfortunately, that is what happens. Because you hear about people that are, they comment about their pastor as though he's a god. If he is a god, a little g-god, 
and he lords over them, and they have no idea that if they have the Holy Spirit, and that's a big if, but if they have the Holy Spirit, they have as much right to be up here, or to at least stand up and say, Thus saith the Lord, because it's the Holy Spirit that speaks and not ourselves when we speak in faith. I hope this clarifies a little bit about the bondage and sin and death of the being trapped in a church where you have one person or everybody's up here that is ministering to these people as though they don't have the Holy Ghost. Now, maybe they don't, and many times, maybe, maybe, maybe many times these people don't have the Holy Ghost. So you have just a gathering, a social occasions, a gathering of sorts, the women they gossip, the men they talk sports. God bless you. I appreciate your comments. And the Lord be with you. Godspeed.